setup is the same in all of the three panels, so the process of changing the sensor is going to be the same as well. So why would you change the sensor in your monitor? Essentially, if you're having trouble to calibrate the monitor, it's, it's a good possibility that your sensor is bad. You're going to, you're going to want to check to make sure that your, your calibration gas is not expired, and that you actually have calibration gas in your bottles. Uh, do those things first and then check the, look at the sensor itself. So if you've got um, some really bouncing numbers on the, on the monitor display, so if you, you put on the span gas and you are getting uh, readings that read uh, really variable, or if you're not able to zero the monitor, it's a good indication your, your sensor is bad. Also, if you get a code SC on the monitor display, that indicates a, uh, a sensor failure. So I've got my new sensor here. Um, the sensor comes with a jumper on it. You're going to want to remove the jumper, okay? And then you'll take the loosen the thumb screws off the bottom of the monitor uh, to access the sensor. Then just calibrate the monitor, make sure it calibrates properly, and then 